Hello all, welcome back to the Daily Answer Writing Initiative at 9 p.m. This is Mohanapriya from Officers IAS Academy. Today we will be discussing the answer for the day 42 question. So the question was explain the concept of Indian Ocean Dipole and analyze the relationship between IOD and the extreme weather events in India. So before we get into the discussion of this particular question, let me quickly give you a whole view of what exactly this Indian Ocean Dipole is. Okay, IOD or the Indian Ocean Dipole, which is also known as the Indian Nino, is considered to be the difference in the sea surface temperature between two regions of the Indian Ocean. That is, we have the Western Indian Ocean and the Eastern Indian Ocean. The difference in the sea surface temperature between these two regions is considered to be the Indian Ocean Dipole. Depending upon this difference in the sea surface temperature, the Indian Ocean Dipole can be divided into three phases. Okay, so IOD has three phases. So, first, phase is called as the positive phase which is the positive IOD we have the neutral phase and then we have a negative phase so let me quickly explain what these three phases are so that it will help us in answering this question well so first is the neutral phase of the Indian Ocean Dipole generally there is accumulation of warm water which happens along the western Pacific Ocean so this warm water slowly gets drifted towards this eastern Indian Ocean and there is an accumulation of warm water which starts in the eastern Indian Ocean because of which the air mass above this warm water starts rising up. It goes, gets drifted towards the western Indian Ocean, subsides there and this circulation is what we call as the normal worker circulation in the Indian Ocean region. So here in the neutral phase there is an accumulation of warm water which comes from the western Pacific Ocean and there is accumulation of normal surface temperature water along the western Indian Ocean. Next comes the the next phase is what we call as the positive phase. The positive Indian Ocean Dipole is where there is an anomaly. So there is accumulation of warm water which happens along the western Indian Ocean and there is an accumulation of cold water which happens along the eastern Indian Ocean. So because of this we can find that there is, an acu there is more amount of moisture supply which happens along the western Indian Ocean and therefore we find that all these regions of Africa, the eastern coast of Africa, the India especially gets benefit out of this positive IOD where there is enhanced amount of rainfall due to the increased amount of moisture supply due to the accumulation of warm water. Whereas if you're going to take the case of the eastern Indian Ocean, we'll completely see the contrasting conditions. There'll be decreased rainfall and it can even cause drought-like conditions. And then comes the phase, the negative phase, which is just the opposite of the positive IOD, where there's accumulation of cold water along the western Indian Ocean and there's accumulation of warm water along the eastern Indian Ocean. Due to the accumulation of cold water along the western Indian Ocean, we find there is decreased supply of moisture because of which it can ca cause decreased amount of rainfall all along the countries which are bordering this western Indian Ocean. So this is the overall idea of Indian Ocean Dipole. So now we are going to discuss about the impact of this Indian Ocean Dipole with respect to India and the weather events in India. So let us quickly see what impact it can create with respect to the Indian weather. Okay, So that will be the main part of the answer as well. So we will quickly jump into the answer. So first we will be, so the question is to explain the concept of IOD, right? So you will be explaining what exactly this IOD is. You will be giving the definition of Indian Ocean Dipole and you will be writing a line. You will be expected to write a line about the positive phase as well as the negative phase of the IOD because both of them can have different impacts with respect to the Indian weather condition. So it is important to mention the positive IOD as well as the negative IOD. You cannot continue the answer by just mentioning about Indian Ocean Dipole because different phases will have different impacts with respect to the weather events. So now let us quickly discuss about the weather impacts it can create. So the positive IOD, as I told you, which results in the accumulation of warmer sea surface water along the western Indian Ocean, it is definitely going to cause enhanced amount of rainfall. So sometimes the rainfall is very high that it can result in even intense flooding. Okay, whereas the negative IOD is going to create a detrimental impact to India because there is accumulation of cold water which happens along the western Indian Ocean because of which there is decreased rainfall and sometimes this decreased moisture content can even lead to drought like conditions. Okay, and then we will be discussing, uh, we, can, we can also mention the other impacts like 
Indian Ocean dipole the accumulation of the accumulation of warm water which causes a difference in the sea surface temperature will have a very major impact in the onset of monsoon it can either prepone the monsoon or it can even cause a delay in the monsoon so the timing of the indian monsoon will be impacted by this indian ocean dipole apart from this the indian ocean dipole will also cause increased amount of increased intensity of tropical cyclones one there will be an increase in the frequency of tropical cyclones and also it can cause an increased intensified tropical cyclones because there is an excessive uh, sea surface temperature than the usual value so normal sea surface temperature required for the cyclone formation is 27 degrees celsius right so when there is going to be more accumulation of warm water it is going to be more favorable for the tropical cyclone formation to occur and then it can also impact the since it is causing a higher sea surface temperature it can also create warmer than average temperatures which can which can cause heat waves when there is going to be a positive iod and negative iod sometimes can lead to cold waves also so these will be the impacts so with respect to the weather events in india so now how can we conclude this answer so coming to the conclusion so there's a study which has said that this iod this indian ocean dipole is a natural phenomenon but the recent changes in climate that is the global warming climate change is all triggering and in fact creating more intensified positive iod and negative iod impacts so what can be done for this so all that we can do is to develop a resilient mitigation and adaptation strategies which are crucial to address this evolving challenge so this can be a conclusion which can which we can write for this particular answer so now we have few papers let's quickly go through the papers the first paper is that of arvind okay so he has started with the definition of indian ocean dipole which is fine and then he has described the three phases so it is not necessary see this particular question let me tell you this is a 10 mark question okay so all that you can do is you can you have to explain the indian ocean dipole in brief and then directly you have to go to the relationship between iod and the weather events in india so that is all that you can do for the 10 marks so here since the demand of the question is only about the iod and you need not explain about each and every phase in detail so that uh, so your uh, you've just filled the first page with the explanation of the three different phases of iod which is not needed you can directly jump to the relationship between iod and weather events after you've just mentioned that iod has two phases that is more than sufficient for this answer so of course yes uh, the points were points were good variability in monsoon and rainfall cyclone formation and yes one point i would like to highlight in arvind's paper is that see the question is very confined it is very clear that it is asking about the relationship between indian ocean dipole and the weather events in india so when the question is very specific you cannot write general impacts that it is going to create for example agricultural productivity is not something which is related to the weather events right so please avoid this point though it is an impact though iod is definitely going to impact the agricultural productivity please do not quote this as a point okay so agricultural productivity is not a point which is relevant to this particular question and then marine heat waves yes affects fishery sector again it is not a weather event right so please avoid this point also and then coming to the conclusion yes climate change has aggravated the impacts of iod so that is what we discussed so it is essential to effectively harness blue economy and meet sustainable development goals for okay that is fine so sustainable development is a very valid point that we can write so the next paper is that of om sneha so she has again started the answer with the definition of iod and here again uh, she just mentioned neutral iod positive iod and negative iod so you need not even explain it give give importance to this with one line explanation is also need, not needed for this particular answer because directly you can jump to the relationship between iod and the extreme weather event so yes it is increased rainfall flood and landslides and it contributes to increased intensified cyclonic activities so she has clearly demarcated that this is the positive iod and then she is also next four five and sixth point is with respect to the negative iod so she has clearly demarcated the impacts of positive and negative iod in a good way so that's good way of structuring and uh, yes so india being a monsoon dependent country so we have to mitigate all these risks so that is fine okay then comes the next paper which is that of sailee rout so here in this paper so the paper, the person has started with the introduction of indian ocean dipole that is fine so here again a very very important point which i wanted to mention see different phases of iod this has been explained in detail with a diagram this is not needed for this particular question at all please avoid doing this let me tell you one point clearly mains is not about writing what all we know mains is about writing what is necessary and asked in the question what is relevant to the question what is the demand of the question so 
just because we have the term iod and we know much about iod it is not necessary to dump what all we know okay so please avoid this not needed at all so so your actual answer after the introduction will start only from the second page so here you have structured it well impact of positive iod and impact of negative iod so the structurization is good here so yes and also one point i would like to make please don't write short forms like southwest monsoon is something which you have to write fully don't write as sw monsoon so don't avoid such short forms in your main paper okay so this is uh, this was about the discussion now let me give you the question for day 43 so the question is india's demographic dividend is a strategic asset which needs to be utilized properly to unlock the country's global ambitions discuss so this is a question for day 43 so i would like to appreciate all the students who are writing these answers on a daily basis i would request all the others who are watching this to also start writing the answer so that this can be definitely a very useful program for you thank you so much